Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video, another video in our series of videos uh, with, with regard to, in regard to using SPSS and more importantly uh, the generation of non-parametric uh, statistical results uh, is going to concentrate on what's known as the Kruskal Wallace test. Okay, uh, the Kruskal Wallace test being a variant, well not a variant, uh, being I suppose it's quite similar to an analysis of variance in an ANOVA, okay, uh, where we have more than two groups and we want to ascertain whether there's differences, whether there's evidence to suggest that there's at least one pairing of the groups uh, that have been selected from different populations, okay. Is there evidence to suggest that there's differences across the groups, basically, is what we're, what we're trying to ascertain. But the Kruskal Wallace test is a test uh, where we haven't met some assumptions associated with the analysis of variance or the Nova. Uh, for example, uh, the distributions, there's evidence to suggest that the groups at the group level, that the individual distributions are not normally distributed and that they're skewed or well, they deviate from normality in some way. Okay, uh, In this particular example here, okay, uh, we've got two variables. Okay, we've got a variable to represent age. There's three categories associated with age. There's 20 to 30 year olds, there's 30 to 40 year olds, and there's 40 to 50 year olds. This is my independent variable. This is what's going to create the groups. And then associated with each particular, with each particular, uh, let's say, age category, or with each age, we have uh, an exam score. So the question that's been asked here is, is there evidence to suggest that there's different exam grades yeah, or as exam scores depending on which group you might fall into. Uh, if we were to do an ANOVA, the test would be, is there evidence to suggest that the averages of the groups are different? Or more importantly, is there evidence to suggest that at least one group compared to one other group, whether their averages are different? Uh, now, I've automatically generated this particular data set, okay? uh, and I've generated data that is skewed, is positively skewed. Uh, so maybe what we'll just do is we just have a look at the individual distributions first of all. Uh, so I want to create a histogram. Uh, uh, for each age group, and that histogram should pick, depict the distribution associated with uh, exam grade. And what I'm going to just do first is I'm just going to go to data and I'm going to split the file. So I'm going to split file, and uh, I'm going to say compare groups, and I'm going to split the file based off, off age. Okay, age is actually already in here, so let me just actually move it across again. Based off age, I'm going to hit OK. So now anything that I do next in relation to generation of graphs and so on, it'll generate a graph for each one of my each one of my age categories. Okay. So I'm gonna go back in. I uh, don't know why that did that here. Let me actually just get rid of this. Let me just maybe clear that there, cut that out of there, clear them out of there. Okay. I'm gonna go into graphs, I'm gonna to go to legacy dialogues, and I'm gonna ask for histograms. Okay? And the histogram is gonna be histograms based off the exam grade. So I'm gonna put exam grade into the variable view. And just keep in mind that the split file is on, so I'm going to get a separate histogram for each one of the age categories. Okay? I'm just going to hit OK on that. And what we can actually see is for the 20 to 30 uh, year category, the exam grade is positively skewed. For the 30 to 40 year category, the exam grade is positively skewed. And for the 40 to 50 year category, the exam grade is positively skewed. Another thing to keep in mind here is that with respect to uh, the, this non-parametric test, this Kruskal Wallace test, okay, it's important for us to make any inference with respect to differences with respect to the median values. If we want to make them particular inferences with respect to median values, the distributions have to have relatively the same shape. And you can see in, in all cases here, they're all positively skewed. So there'll be evidence to suggest that the distributions look similar in shape. We'd have a problem. We wouldn't be able to make inferences with respect to the medians if one of these distributions was negatively skewed, because that would be a totally different shape compared to a positively skewed distribution. So that's one thing that we need to keep in mind. Another thing we need to keep in mind when we're doing a Kruskal Wallace, like when we're doing an ANOVA, is that the variance across the groups, okay, the variances within each group, okay, and when we compare them variances, that the variances are homo, uh, I suppose, I say homo, there's homogeneity of variances, in other words, that there's no differences in the variances. And the same thing is, well, I've already assured that in this particular case that the variances are, are quite close to each other, okay? Uh, so let's just actually explore the normality assumption associated with an ANOVA first of all and you'll see that we are actually deviating from normality here. So I'm just going to go to analyze, I'm going to go to, actually what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to turn off my split file. So data, split file, 
I'm going to analyze all the cases. So I'm just going to hit OK on that. Okay. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to, let me do that again, make sure that happened. Spiff file, analyze all cases is now on. Okay, so it's not breaking up into groups. I'm going to go to analyze, descriptive statistics, and explore. And I've already specified this. Maybe I'll just reset this. Uh,